Hey everybody, I'm Alex Kleberg, and um, what I do is I, I, work with, uh, I work with entrepreneurs to help uh, start a small business, and I work with, uh, I, I do volunteer work with social entrepreneurs, and I work with uh, regular, uh, I guess, uh, non-social entrepreneurs as well. So, um, so in my last, uh, in my last uh, experience with uh, Kat Coppett, we talked about the dramatic shift, right, when status changes to a new group. And that, I, I, I just realized at that moment, that, that is what I'm going to, that's what I'm talking about today. I really didn't have words for it, but now I do. So uh, if you're in the room, Kat, thank you. Um, there, these are a list of skills, okay? These are, these are new skills for new areas of management, social enterprise, and small business entrepreneurship that, it, that have shifted lately. And, um, and what I found, and as I was reviewing these and I was working with these with my clients, that improv is totally related to like a vast majority of these brand new skills. And, it, and, it, and the reason that is is because there's been a shift. So the, one of the, I, I'm going to focus on three in my time here. One of the big shifts is the wisdom of crowds. Um, in the past, those who had the authority and the status, uh, processes were simple, change was slow, and uh, jobs were stable. You, you can say uh, what my job title was, and that was going to be your job title for a long time. Remember, remember those days? That was, that was very simple. What's my job title now? Boy, it's a story right now. But so, so the, the things have changed and um, what Robert McNamara really typified this era, the whiz kid of, G, of GM, he said, the more the important the decision, the less people I want to have make it. So I want to reduce the, the, the decision to experts. Now what leaders are doing is they're, the leaders are actually able to pull knowledge from groups of experts. Oh, uh, and, and even cre uh, work with groups of experts like Steve Jobs and create a, a, a reality distortion machine that actually can, can get people to believe and do things they didn't think possible. And how this relates to improv is this is something that we do every day on stage. We, it is a blank stage out there. It's a, it's a beautiful thing when you're standing right behind the, the stage and you just see it out there and there, it's, it's nothing. It's absolutely pure, and we go out there, and all we have is each other, and we don't know what's going to happen and what we're going to do and what court sort of story is going to come out, but we're pulling it out of, uh, out of, our, out of our partners and our, and our teammates. So we have a unique ability to pull various interactions, drives characters and issues forward and push it forward to create a scene. Now, in the social enterprise, um, the, the new ability is really to jump in before ensuring that they, they're fully resourced. And, and this change, social enterprise is different, uh, is different than uh, uh, charity in that the, the, in the past, having a patron was a key. You had a patron or a strong foundation that supported one group, whereas in um, social enterprise, as is typified, uh, by Muhammad Yunus said that, it, that it's a more sustainable enterprise. We find, we, we find a social good and we get uh, people to, to keep on paying back in and it moves forward. And in fact, that's, that's what we do as improvisers. We, we're trained, uh, we have a trained instinct to jump in when the time is right and push things so they keep moving forward, regardless with resources. Man, we want to talk about not having resources. Think back to that black stage, that empty stage that you can jump out and you have to just create. Uh, uh, you have to just create what you have. And then finally, in small business, really, there's this new talk about uh, engaging failure. You, you, you want to? Uh, maybe it's a sign of the current economic climate. But there's a lot of literature out there about uh, failure, failing fast, how to fail properly and move forward. And and um, in the past. Before the status shift, failure was the worst thing possible because you had heaped so many resources on a few experts and everything was mounted on this one, one thing that was going to either uh, go or fail. But now uh, with the diversity, with different voices, with different projects and a more portfolio approach to risk management, uh, it's appropriate to fail fast and move forward. And again, improvisers have a unique ability and unique insight in this because 
We can't focus on failure. We only can focus on the future. We have, in fact, we believe that on stage there is no failure. There's only something that's been said, and we have to push forward and move on. And that's exactly what entrepreneurs that are succeeding today are doing. And we have unique insight into this as, as improvisers. So there's a transformation. There's a transformation that's happened that's actually shifted the status. Change happens faster. New voices, uh, the, the faces of America and the world that we're living in are changing. Uh, the, uh, the, the hemispheres, the, the, the hege uh, hegemonic powers are changing. And as new risks and opportunities uh, are presenting themselves with the, uh, new technology. And so the answer is that uh, improv uh, improvisers, what we, the skills that we train for to do what we can do on stage are uniquely are uniquely suited to the new challenges that we have today. So go out and uh, apply improv to the world, and uh, you are now in the space where the status has shifted. So uh, go out and bring it. Thank you. <laughs>